Hi, comic book fans. Welcome to another SuddenlyComics.com video. It's a Monday night. It's the last Monday night uh, around Christmas. And we are going to be looking at the movies and TV shows coming up in 2024. Um, we've looked at a few already over on Alan's channel. So when you finish watching this, you can head over to Alan's channel. And here is views. Uh, he's very enthusiastic about the Thunderbolts movie where Alan is <laughs> a great fan of all the characters uh, in Thunderbolts. Right. So, uh, Alan, the first one uh, I want to talk about here is a movie that you uh, spec'd on and then got, um, and then your specs all didn't perform because of the writer's strike, uh, and that is Blade. Mm -hmm. Blade it should be coming out in 2024. Should be, but will it? Like well, I'm actually not. I'm. I would be amazed if it actually comes out in 2024. Okay, so, I have a feeling it's going to be pushed back to 2025. Okay. So, um. If it so, all, if it does come out in 2024, are you looking forward to it? So okay, from what I heard, the the main actor guy, I really like the guy. I think he's great. He wanted to walk away from the movie, so that's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. <laughs> that's not a good sign. And I, I heard that they're going to try to rewrite the whole thing. It could be just a mess. I have a feeling it's going to be a mess, uh, which is a shame. Um, you know, Blade is an awesome character. Yeah. They just have to do what they did with Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Absolutely. Just make him, just make him badass and killing a bunch of vampires. That's all guys want. That's all you need to do. It's not like rocket science, you know. Yeah, that's it. That's your movie. Um, <laughs> I just, you know, seriously, they just have to go have him go around killing vampires, yeah. you know, and that would be fun. That would be a great movie. Yeah, that's what he does. OK, so that's a good start. Um, I can't say I'm looking forward to that one. It's got all the signs of. Yeah. Well, I, I don't like these ones where they rewrite it halfway through. They never turn out. Well, well no, but I heard that the original script, I've what heard what's going to be in that. It was it was a gender swap. It was a it was oh. all the things that we hate. Yeah, where Blade is like second fiddle in his own movie. Yeah. You know? Okay. Oh. Right. Um. Next up, Deadpool three. Oh, I like. I yeah, I'm big fan. And it's going to be Wolverine and Deadpool, and they're going to probably. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet you. This is a bet that they're going to have that iconic thing where you know where Wolverine's being held over. You know, I mean the that 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 cover yeah they're gonna re they're gonna have that somewhere in the movie um you know there's things like that i think that they will cater to the fans i think they will cater to the comic geeks out there um and i think it'll be like over the top i think it'll be fun um i, I have really high hopes for it i'm really uh, excited about that i think this is the after we talked about uh across the spider verse 2 which i'm looking forward to this is the other film for 2024 that i think is going to be great um mm -hmm. everything's lining up for it it's and we got dazzler and dazzler <laughs> and are we also going to get mephisto so who knows i i don't think we'll get mephisto and i don't think i think he's going to be in something else i think he's going to be in one of the other shows. I right. forgot which one. Okay. Anyway, it's going to be good fun. Um, uh, the previous two Deadpool movies are great. Uh, this one is going mm -hmm. to be. It's, it's, I've got great hopes for this one. Um, it's just lining up to be uh, good. So, yes, I'm looking forward to uh, Deadpool 3. Right. Um, another film I'm looking forward to is uh, The Joker 2. Uh, okay. Folia de, is it called Folia de? Uh, so we're getting. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah, Folia de. Uh, it's uh, gonna got Joe Kim Phoenix in it again, and um, Lady, Lady Gaga playing mm. uh, Quinn. I mean, what is not to like here? And it's a musical, I think. That's the part that kind of gets me. Uh, I, I'm not so keen on that part. I, I, I uh, you're not like a good musical, Alan. So I probably won't go see it in the theater. Tell you the truth. Oh, I don't know. I uh, like Batman. I love Batman. Well, and, the um, Jacob movie was the best DC movie for ages. I know it was a really great movie. I actually really enjoyed it. Am I looking forward to this one? Not as much. I just don't like the musical part of it. I think you know. 
musicals and my comic book movies need to be kind of separated. Okay. Uh, there, are some, <laughs> there are some good, there are some good uh, comic musical uh, Blues Brothers. That's not a comic book movie. Yeah, I've got a Blues Brother comic. Is there a Blues but it, Was it a comic made after the movie, though? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so my point is it's not a comic-based movie. Right, guys, you need to put your comments below about uh, musicals, musicals and comic <laughs> movies. <laughs> well, I, 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 so you're, you're going to go watch it? Definitely, yes, I should be. I like Lady Gaga as well. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, are you going to wear your neat dress? Watched, and... I, I just watched Joaquin Phoenix and Napoleon. Um, oh, I heard that that was bad, actually. Was it bad or? Uh, well, if you're French, it's bad. Um, it's, <laughs> uh, well, it's quite a long movie. Um, the battle scenes are fantastic. That's what I heard. I did hear that. Yeah. Um, some of the so it's 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 good not epic um, so i heard that the problem was it shouldn't have been a movie it should have been a tv series it may have worked better as a tv series yeah i mean where the, they could have explained things a bit better make it yeah, a they, the battle scenes would have not had the same amount of money spent on them though so uh, the battle mm -hmm. scenes are worth it by themselves um you know, okay the uh the taking of toulouse at the start is fantastic there's the one mm -hmm. The, uh, the one on the lake, um, really good. So, uh, yeah, I, I quite enjoyed that. And Joe Kim Phoenix, of course, playing a weirdo uh, again. <laughs> uh, see, yeah, uh, I don't think of Napoleon as being a weirdo. Uh, well, that's not a. <laughs> it is, it, it is. I don't think Napoleon would be too happy about the portrayal. Okay, so what's the next comic related movie on this? All right. Uh, the Boys, uh, Series Four. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it. Tell you the truth, boy. Um, I, I I found like each I I almost get a little bit annoyed by the boys. Like I find that you know they're it gets a little bit like over the top and then over the top of the top. And it just I feel like it's like it's been you know I I I you know I don't I almost don't like shock humor shock like that kind of I find it a little bit distasteful after a while. Um, you know, I, I jo enjoyed Boys 1 and Season 2 was so-so and I felt like it's getting weaker with each season. Oh, no, I think Season 3 was the best series, best season. So season maybe I, I, like, I'm like i trying to remember, was Season 3 where he gets powers? Or was that Season 2? Oh, that's Season 2. Season 3 is uh, Herogasm. And, uh, <laughs> See, I didn't want, I didn't want, I, I think I only watched one or two episodes of Season 3. Uh, season and I felt three, like it three. So, so I think it was just I was just so over the top that I found it kind of like a little bit I don't know kind of too much I don't know I I, I okay well I, I I really enjoyed I thought season three was well season one was excellent season two was going you yeah know, same. yeah it's, it was kind of going down a little bit yeah. for me season three went woof it was actually better than season one so okay yeah so I'm quite looking forward to season four um, okay. Yeah. So that's all next year. Okay. Uh, the Daredevil television series. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what. I'm, I'm worried. I. How can you not be looking forward to the Daredevil series? The actors are fantastic. Who plays Daredevil? I I, I like the guy that plays Daredevil. We've got the um, Kingpin guy. They brought the guy who plays Kingpin from the. Um, yeah, he's good too. So I didn't Daredevil. actually watch. Why? I didn't actually watch the original Daredevil series. Um, so I don't, I, in a way, I'm coming into it not having watched that. Um, I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I probably should watch the original. And then um, I'm sort of worried about the way that they've been kind of doing stuff with Daredevil. Like, I, I really didn't like him in She-Hulk. Or I actually, though he was the best part of She Hulk, if that oh, makes sense. I liked him in She Hulk. He was. Yeah, no, that I mean, as I said, I met, I felt like he was the best part of She Hulk, but I didn't like the fact that he did the Walk of Shame and all this kind of weird stuff. Um, yeah, it was just a little weird. It was a little weird. I don't know. I'm sort of worried about it. Okay. It depends if they if they go back to writing good stuff, then fine. I'm I'm actually would be excited. I'm not sure. 
I guess is my way of saying it. Okay. Well, we'll see. One uh, um, and um, I think we're getting Marvel zombies. That I'm looking forward to. I love zombie stuff. Like you, you, you just say zombies, and I'm like, ah, oh, I mean, <laughs> I like zombies. I, I, I'm a big zombie fan. Marvel zombies. I didn't like the what if Marvel zombies um, episode. Actually, I didn't mind that episode. I thought it was cool. Uh, yeah. You know, I found it very trite and childish. Um, so... It was a little bit. Yeah, you're right. But in a way, they they have to do it. Like they have to, you know, because it's such a short. Yeah. Episode, you know, it's like it's like a, you you have to do a lot of storytelling in a very short amount of time. So. Um, you know, it, it can come across a little bit that way, a little bit but childish. Right? Marvel zombies seriously, oh. mm-hmm. um, which if you're going to do it as a TV series, I suppose you've got to take it seriously to some extent. Otherwise, the joke's just going to run out. Um, mm-hmm. So Yeah, I don't want to, I hope they don't make it jokey in a way. Uh, like, I, again, I, as I said, this is one big peeve of mine, pet peeve of mine, is... Um, like I don't want Marvel to be funny anymore. I want DC to be more funny, and I want Marvel to be less funny. You know, if that's if that's you know, it sounds weird, right? I just I feel like they they like they almost like like uh, well, have like a Deadpool. focus group they're where they say, hey, I'm... "They're allowed to be funny in Deadpool." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good. That's an exception because actually that's good humor. Yeah. But I find that Marvel humor in general is like inappropriate and doesn't work half the time and it just it it comes across as like you know as being emotionally crippled (laughs) i don't know if that makes sense but uh just it it, it's just wrongly placed it it feels like they they're putting joke oh yeah did we have a joke this last 30 seconds oh we gotta put one we gotta put a joke you know it felt like it feels like that and the worst was um the thor movie love and thunder yeah. Do you know what I mean? That that kind of level of like insert yeah, joke here kind of thing. And also Quantum Mania, I found it a bit great. great That's thing. my point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they're they're inserting jokes when it'd be better just to be a little less funny and but means more. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Right. That's it, Alan. We've got a wow. list of stuff for next year. So so we, we compare the two lists, like 2023 to 2024. 2023, we had 18. TV shows and movies. Okay, so you've got to remember that DC are basically doing nothing other than Joker, um, mm-hmm. because there's the gap between um, Snyder and James Gunn. So, the but Joker... my point, my point is like this is going to be a real different feel. Yeah. Next year, I mean, it's just going to be a lot less content coming out. Yeah. So there's nothing from DC other than the Joker. I don't think. Um, and that's not really mainline um, DC. Stuff. And a lot of Marvel projects have been pushed away too. Yeah, so there's much less of them. Um, and, and so James Gunn doesn't really get underway until he does his Superman um, relaunch in 2025, which starts his Gunverse. Um, mm-hmm. so the 20, 2024 is a gap, really, for that. Mm-hmm. And as you say, Marvel have probably killed off loads of stuff because it wasn't working. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so it's a, it's a bit of a thinner, a bit of a thinner uh, offering for twenty twenty four. Yeah, yeah. So um, it should be interesting in a way. Um, I'm hoping that in a way it gives them time to kind of reflect and maybe take a different line of approach to things. Um, yeah, I'm hope I'm I'm hoping that actually that was one thing I didn't mention about the Marbles as a movie, like. I could tell that they stripped out the wokeness from it, actually. And I, I think they they tried to course correct, but it, they, there was just nothing you could salvage. I'm hoping that they now know that they need to course correct and will write better as a result. You know yeah. what I mean? So I'm hoping for that. So we can only wait and see. <laughs> you know. Right. But yeah. That's your lot. Uh Enjoy your Christmas and gr- enjoy your new year. Alan and I will be back in January with our usual review of the Silver Age market. Uh, so thank you very much for watching during the course of 2023 and uh, looking forward to 2024.